Hey, black man, you voting for Kamala Harris? Because you know Obama told you to. Let's talk about it. So yesterday, Barack Obama decided it was a good idea to come out of his house, save Kamala Harris's sinking ship in Pittsburgh, and talk shit about Trump for a few minutes, and then gather a bunch of black men behind signage that says black male voters, and basically tell them, you better vote for Kamala Harris. The numbers are not looking good, and especially amongst the brothers. You guys supported me when I was running, and I expect you to support her. I expect you to vote for Kamala Harris. It's the audacity for me. First of all, you can't tell any black man what to do ever. That's first of all. Second of all, when is he massa? When is he going to think that he could go in front of a bunch of black men and tell them what to do? Like, is that what we're doing right now? Like, who made him in charge of what black men do or don't do? So the small percentage of black men who were either going to vote for Kamala Harris or were leaning and undecided but leaning towards her, they're absolutely not going to vote for Kamala Harris. Now, that doesn't mean they're going to vote for Trump, but they're for sure not voting for her. So whatever their little plan was to like play in the emotions of black people or make black men feel like they can't make their own damn decisions, that backfired. It's all over the internet. Barack Obama, that was a bad move. It was a bad move. You did nothing for black men back in the day. So how do you get to come out being like a billionaire telling black men who are working their asses off to pay for things and take care of their families that they better do as you say? Wow. Come in the comments, repost and share this and tell me what the black men think about this because I'm sure they're hot. <laughs> Before we dive right into these guys, please do well to subscribe to my channel if this is your first time coming across my channel, okay? So, Barack Obama, the ex-president of America, he addressed black people telling them to vote for Kamala Harris. If you have been following up with the presidential election of the United States, you would know that Barack Obama is actually supporting Kamala Harris right and is like trying to tell Americans to vote for Kamala and a lot of black people are not taking this lightly like it didn't go down well with them so much you know like when a father is no matter how grown you are your father tells you to do something even though within you you just want to kick his ass but for the fact that he's your father you just respect him and do whatever he asks you to do that was just the way barack obama addressed the black man saying oh and giving them reasons why they should vote for Kamala, right? One thing I know is, I've always said about this particular election is, even if you want to campaign for a particular candidate, all right, you don't necessarily need to put others down, okay? And you don't necessarily need to force people. The people can read through you. They can see through you. They know who is best for them. Even if they decide to vote for someone else, they know within themselves who they prefer to be the president. And I was always saying, Kamala can be a female, but she can as well still do better for America, all right? And you all know Barack Obama, to an extent, did his best for the United States. Though I know a lot of citizens of the United States are commenting, writing a lot of comments that Barack Obama did more damage, this, that, this, that. But I don't really believe in that, right? Because from what we see, you can see that Barack Obama tried for America. And if he's bringing a candidate saying, okay, you people should vote for this particular candidate, it's kind of wrong and at the same time a little bit right but the fact still remains that you cannot necessarily force the public on who they are going to like their preferred candidates you can't tell them who they are going to vote for anyways guys i'll leave you all to watch this particular clip now do well to leave your thoughts in the comment section to former president obama i understand the reservations he might have for the lack of enthusiasm and a lack of excitement for Kamala Harris as there was during his time when he was running as a presidential candidate. But I would say this, they're not the same candidates. Same way I would give up that there might be some men, some black men, who might be a victim of the patriarchy rather than actually not looking at Kamala Harris as a very qualified candidate. At the end of the day though, you are not Kamala Harris and Kamala Harris is not you. 
Enthusiasm would be nice, but the numbers show that former President Barack Obama is speaking to the wrong audience, right? The stats show this. At every turn, or almost every single election, whether it's a presidential election or uh, Senate seats, it shows that black men and black women, black people, period, turn out for the Democratic Party at a very high rate. The people you are trying, you should be speaking to, or you should be lecturing to, and having the same type of, I guess, uh, le- uh, uh, you know, sort of uh, energy towards are non-black people. But I guess this is where we are as far as what politics now, right? It, it was very far removed from changing anyone's mind, right? Um, we're at the point now where we're just trying to make sure we don't lose uh, where we have strong, uh, we have a stronghold, right? So we're trying to make sure that, you know, the 85% of black men that used to vote for you doesn't change to 80. Because if that was not the case, President Obama would be at every single Uh, you know, conference where there's a majority white women and majority white men and would be pleading to them the same exact thing he's pleading to black men, which is, hey, Donald Trump didn't grow up like you. Kamala Harris, irregard of color, regardless of color, is the one that grew up more like you from this type of home and ETC. But he's not doing that because we are low key admitting something, which is America is completely divided and we're just trying to make sure we don't lose an inch. As far as lack of enthusiasm is concerned, and what's driving maybe some of this panic, I think it's just a bunch of contrarian, sort of extreme right-wing black men who have a voice online and tend to grift that are actually probably not going to vote and really are just sharing the same talking points as, you know, the red pill community. They're powering talking points about who wrote the stimulus check, checks out and what the economy was like and really just powering a lot of fake news as well, right? So if I were the president, I would probably be a little more careful. Let's keep Kamala Harris sounding like a very qualified candidate. To the people that you are going to lose to just simply because of sexism, it is what it is. But what you don't want to do is not only anger um, the strong base that you have as black men, and they're going to be some black woman ready to stand up and say, hey, wait a minute. We're not the group you should be talking to. There's a group you should be talking to. And the numbers show... They're right there. Right there. That's where the split happens. Unfortunately, if we're keeping it real. Hey, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Just wanted to take a moment to come on to give a, a brief response to a, a video I saw today uh, about President Obama uh, speaking to a group of black men. He's campaigning for Kamala Harris. It's important to note it was a campaign speech, I think, in the city of Pittsburgh, speaking to a group of black men and the brothers, black men um, like like me and so many of you. But it was a speech, in essence, um, stating that as black men, as brothers, that there was some sort of an obligation or at least an expectation by President Obama for black men to support Kamala Harris because because we're black and she's black, but also he suggested that if black men don't support her, that perhaps they have a problem with uh, a woman in leadership. I, I thought about that and contemplated that for a little while and wanted to give a, a response for this reason, not a political response, 